Okay, so we're all set up, right? Yeah. We are set up here. So, ni hao. Ni hao. Ni shun tamajan. I don't know what you just said. What did you just say? I said, do you want to play mahjong? <laughs> okay, well let's play mahjong. So Sam here is in second grade. Chinese immersion, and I have to do it till after sixth grade. That's right. So he's, he learns Chinese at school, and he learns Chinese games here at, at home. home. So we're, we've learned a lot of Chinese games, but mainly mahjong. So um, this is a, a simplified setup. There's 34 tiles in each wall. The more advanced setup is 36 tiles in each wall. This is actually the third iteration. The third iteration, and we start sequentially because you learn it better that way and you learn it faster that way. So here we are in the third iteration. The final iteration is gonna be 36 tiles. So, Sam, why don't you uh, start us off here? Okay. I rolled a four, so one, two, three, four. If you're Chinese, then E R San Si. Then you go to your left and count one, two, three, four. Okay. Chinese, same thing, but E R San Si. All right, set it up, baby. Then you grab the two that you landed on, and you put it on the side like that. All right. And we keep pulling tiles from this direction, right? Yep. In which direction do we go in order of people? The opposite direction. Very good, right there. Put it right there. So, we're not gonna play a whole game right now for a couple reasons. Number one, we're not in the uh, video studio to give you close-up shots. So Number two, this. we need four people. That's right, we need four people to play. So we don't have any of that right now. But, uh, why don't we um, go ahead and see a little bit of a strategy, a little bit of basic strategy. Now, when we throw out tiles, we're gonna start discarding tiles. What tiles do we wanna put out there first, Sam? You, the tiles you wanna put out there first are ones, nines, dragons, winds, and flowers. And why? Because it's unlikely that someone will, will need a, a 1, 9, or any of those other tiles. So you're saying it's good strategy is what you're saying. Yeah, and never right just... There. And try not to discard any 6s uh, late in the game. In the beginning, you're safe because 6s are one of the main numbers. Okay, so when you're in the middle of a stack, it's easier for more people to need that, huh? So anyway, that's a little bit of basic strategy, very basic strategy. We're going to go through more in-depth strategy, but first we're going to start with the basic rules and we're going to do that in a sequential, simplistic fashion. And then after you have the opportunity to learn the basics, we're going to build up with a little bit of strategy. Now this is my binder here, I even label it Mahjong because Several months ago, I figured I could just get all the information I needed off the internet. And you know what? I did get a lot of information off the internet. And a lot of the information was conflicting information. And a lot of that information was frankly not very helpful. But I saved the best stuff. And so I realized that there's no real simple process for learning Mahjong, even though it's the most played game in the world. Um, so anyway, take a look at the website. Check it out and feel free to give us an email or give us a call. And with that, why don't we just end this video? What do you think? Yeah, but first, here's a fact about the internet. It didn't, it didn't exist in the 1980s. That's right, buddy. All right, so how do you say bye? Sai chien. Sai chien.